All right, Lord's Call 14 here again. And now I'm going to teach you how to solve the next step of the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. We already solved the first, or first layer, as it's called. So now what we're going to do is we're going to solve the second layer. So basically, after this step, this bottom is going to be solved. And this whole second row is going to be solved. So you're going to solve this piece here, this piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. Very simple concept. All right, so what we're going to do is first things first, this top is going to be green, which means that any of the pieces in here that are down here are not going to have green in them. So the first thing you want to do is look for a piece that does not have green in it. So let's find one. This one right here does not have any green in it. And since it is yellow here, we know it's going to be on the yellow side. And since this piece up here has red, we know it's going to line up with the red side. So it's going to be between the yellow and the red centers, which means it's going to be right here. So in order to move it down there, you have to use an algorithm now. This algorithm, what you have to do is you have to memorize it. I mean, you can use it with a paper, but in front of your friend, it's not really going to be all that impressive. But, hey, whatever. If you're going to use paper, then you can use a paper. But in order to do this algorithm, this is where notation really becomes key, because if you screw up your algorithm, your whole first layer is going to get messed up. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to screw up the bottom layer, because you can't really move this down here, because if you move it down there, then, I mean, move that out of place. So our objective is to move this down to here without screwing any of this up. In order to do that, this is the algorithm that we're going to use. This is going to move it to the right-hand side. To move it to the right, you do this algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. That solves the first one. There's still three more to go. Okay, so this next one. This is orange and black. The orange side is here. Oh, well, this worked out perfectly. In this case, we need to move it to the left. See, orange, black, orange center, black center. So this has to be moved over here. Same, you hold your cube the same way with it facing you. It's just like a reverse version of the other algorithm. In this case, it's up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. Now this next one, sorry, that's green. See, so remember the rule? So no green pieces. This is orange and yellow. There's the orange and yellow side. So to move it down to here, this has to be moved to the right. So once again, it's up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And left with the last one. Red and black. Black, red. So this is to move to the right. Up, right. Up inverted, right inverted. Up inverted, front inverted. Up, front. If you've done the step correctly, your whole second row should be solved correctly. Now we're left with the dilemma of solving this whole third row without screwing any of this up. So in this case, you're definitely going to have to use algorithms. On the top, you're going to have one of four cases. I'll show you how to do how to, What you want to do is you're either going to have this dot, you're going to have an L in the top left-hand corner. Okay, first things first, if you have this dot, what you want to do is you want to do the algorithm front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Okay? That'll get you an L on the top. This is another case that you can have on the top. Now, from this algorithm, the third case that we can have is just a line like this on the top. And the fourth case that we can have on the top is a cross. Our objective is to get to this cross. So, to do this, you're going to have to learn a grand total of two algorithms, max, depending on how much you screw up. 
it's not that difficult of a concept. So I'm gonna try to get it back to that dot from the okay. First things first. Uh, let's see what I can do. Hmm. Okay. Line. Oh, this is okay. Here we go. So the dot. I'm just gonna do it this way because this will be a little simpler for me to, for you to see. No, I'm not cheating. I'm just trying to set up a case so that you can see it. Because you can't really go from the L back to the dot. So when you have a dot, what you want to do is you want to do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. This I already explained. Now we get to the L. Now, there are two ways of doing it. Once you get to the L, you can use one algorithm that will get you straight to the cross. It's very, very similar to the one I just showed you. This algorithm is F, U, R, U, I, R, I, F, I. This algorithm will get you straight to the cross. However, some of us might get another case on top. We might get a line. From the line to get to the cross, the algorithm is one you've already learned. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And from there, now this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated because what we're trying to do is we're trying to finish it using something called OLL and PLL. OLL will make the whole top green. PLL will shift pieces around until the whole thing is solved. It's a little bit difficult to understand, but trust me, you'll get it. So, from here, once you've got the cross, what you want to do is you want to find a piece where it's in the top left somewhere. When it's in the top left, you want to do this algorithm. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. If you've practiced the algorithm that I told you to practice in the first part, this will really come in handy because if you practice that algorithm for your notation, it will actually be really, really easy to employ here because that algorithm is going to be used here. You want to do it again when you have a green, when you have a green piece here. Do it again. Our objective is to get, you have to keep doing it. You have to keep doing it until you get to a certain pattern. Our pattern that we're looking for is this shape. It looks kind of like a fish, if you kind of look at it in a twisted sort of way. See? Fishy. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. Okay, so, fish. So now, there are two algorithms to do this. They're very, very similar, and, I mean, there's really, really not, there's not really much I can tell you in a way to recognize them, except what you want to do is you always want to have the fish either facing your bottom right or your bottom left. So, now, I don't know if my camera is letting you see this, but this piece right here is green. I'm trying to focus light on here. Okay, this is green, right here. When you have the fish, and the green is on the opposite side of this thing to the left. So, this is actually very, very difficult to explain. I, I see why Thralis had a difficult time explaining this. Um, okay, so they're, very, they're two very, very similar cases. For this fish pattern, you can have this, when it's facing to the bottom right, you can either have a piece here, when it's facing to the bottom right, or sometimes when it's facing to the bottom left, you will have a green piece here. You, you, you're always going to have one of those cases if you have a fish. So what you want to do is if it's facing to the bottom right and you have a piece here, the algorithm you want to do is left prime, U prime, L, U prime left prime, U2, L. And that'll actually orient your whole top. That's the OLL portion. However, sometimes you'll have this pattern on top. Now it looks very, very similar. But no notice if I point it to the bottom right, how it doesn't have a green piece here. Actually, ugh, oddly enough, this worked out. It's not what I planned on doing. Hmm, let's try to set, it, yeah, set up a case for you guys. Okay, this is what I wanted. If I point it to the bottom right, it doesn't have a green piece here. It's an orange piece. That's not what I had in mind when I did this. It actually is, but you get the idea. 
See, you don't want this orange piece here. This orange piece is here, and it's not letting you do that L prime U prime algorithm that I just showed you. It will not let you solve it like that. So in this case, notice if you point it to the bottom left, though, you do have a green piece here. This green piece is really going to help you now. If you have it in the bottom left, you do an algorithm I just showed you. But if you have it in the bottom right, if you have it in the top right, you do an algorithm you've already learned. This algorithm really helps you out, doesn't it? Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Using those two algorithms, you should now have the first layer solved, these two rows solved, and the top all, what are, in this case, the way I'm teaching you, the top should be completely green. In the next step, we're going to learn to finish the cube.